Yeah, we are going live on the first map, Good Luck SF. And yep. uh, I think the players will just do a warm up. Do you expect the players to do the cut on this one? At least the second one. Yeah, so maybe to give you a little idea of how the maps actually uh, have been built here for the Smurfs, uh, for the Smurfs, for the Stairs Cup, <laughs> is, <laughs> is that we have intentional shortcuts being built into this map. So you will, you will probably see a couple of these shortcuts being done by the players. But uh, yeah, there's there's this twist, right? Like there's the risky shortcut line that you can go if you really want to go for it, or you also have the safe approach where you just drive the track like on its normal route, pretty much. So uh, that is something that will be very interesting on this map in particular. We have two shortcuts. One of them that you can see right here. It is a jump out of a uh, dirt banking. Piranha has done it right here, but has made a little mistake. So if you get that landing perfectly, you can actually jump to the right of that platform as well and perform a second shortcut. So potentially there are two shortcuts that the players can go for. One of them, as I said, jumping out of the dirt. And if you do keep enough speed that you can actually jump off that platform up here and jump or rather land right on top of this one here essentially skipping this whole turn which is uh, yeah quite fast but then again it will require you to get a very very good landing out of that dirt jump otherwise you're just not going to be able to make it very risky stuff let's see who's gonna go for it and these players are now off the start block with the first rounds radiance feel free to uh, take it off all right, going into round number one, uh, the players are uh, getting a pretty equal start at the start here. It's really easy, and the first real trick comes here, where you have to skip this freewheeling block over the ramp. So, uh, Gwen, what happened to Gwen? Gwen, he touched the freewheeling, it seems, and therefore he is half a second behind. And uh, that is approximately what you lose, in general, when hitting that freewheel block. All the other three players coming up to the jump now. Let's see who gets it good and who doesn't. Seems like Ryso actually gets it really good and has a lot of speed. Let's see if he will go for the second cut, uh, as I think he's the only one with enough speed. He actually goes for it. Everyone Ryso goes for it. it. Uh, Hugo fails it. Wow. Is on his roof and Gwen gets it as well, but does he have enough speed to hit the magnet? He does have enough speed and will actually uh, get up there. Hugo as well, right behind Gwen, but Ryso takes this one easily if he just saves the ending. He's going for that bubble. Oh, Ryso! Oh. <laughs> Will Gwen reach it? No. Goraiso takes first place. Gwen in second. Who going for that? Uh... Wait, did he crash or something? Piranha will maybe overtake. Oy, Piranha will yeah, take yeah, Hugo yeah, yeah, in yeah. the ending. Because Hugo made a big mistake and went for the safe route there. So uh, Raiso takes home 10 points. Gwen with 6. Piranha with 4. And Hugo with only 3 points. Yeah, this Even round... Even though he was in second. Exactly, this round has been quite all over the place. A lot of uh, mistakes being done at the second shortcut. So, uh, the jump up the platform that all of the players have actually attempted. And Ryzen was the only one that survived it, so he gets the 10 points. Almost got punished with that little mistake here at the end, but it was all good going into the second out of the four rounds here, with Hugo now having the greatest start together with Gwen. On third place, we have German player Piranha, and then uh, Ryzo right now in last place, but he closes in very well, gets a lot of speed over the grass part. Now a uh, gear down here for, uh, who was that? For Gwen, I think. And now the first shortcut. Piranha with a terrible landing. Hugo survives it, and Gwen with a lot of speed. He's probably not going to have too much trouble making this jump now. The camera is on him. Let's see if he's going to make it over the barrier. He goes very, very clutch landing here by both players, but all of these three players have survived it, except for Piranha who did not get the greatest landing out of the dirt. So Gwen still in the lead, coming up towards the finish line now. Hugo in second place and Ray's on third. Will Hugo maybe make something happen here to jump over the bubble? Gwen jumping too far right! And Hugo snipes! Ryzo, oh, okay, Ryzo was actually able to save himself, but Piranha sniped that last play or that third place away from Ryzo. So Ryzo has actually lost two positions there at the end. Gwen, kind of lucky that his mistake hasn't been punished even more because he jumped quite a bit far to the right there yeah and uh gwen clearly not happy in the chat uh some french gibberish uh going on there something about <laughs> his worst map i believe because kustibat gave me a quick french lesson on what a pira means and that is basically uh, it means that this is his bad map okay so uh, gwen clearly not uh super trained on this one Ooh. as uh Rysel, i believe that was makes a big mistake and now finds himself uh, approximately a second behind with low speed so that's gonna increase even further and up to the cut we go. Oh, Gwen gets a small bounce there. Hugo gets it pretty good. And Piranha as well, pretty good. Piranha going very wide in order to gain enough speed in order to do the cut here. So will he actually be able to do it? Oh, all right. But he did touch though, so he will have very low speed. And I think Hugo, yeah, he actually took the safe route and he will overtake 
both of the players going for the cut. Uh, Gwen actually caught up to Piranha and uh, Rhysaur as Hugo. well. Hugo <laughs> is, uh, is, is respawning there. Piranha just about takes first place uh, before <laughs> Rhysaur and Gwen and uh, Hugo just oh, no. completely hard inting right now it seems. Uh, he should just go for the safe route because you won't have enough speed with the uh, bubble on the respawn I believe. Ah, uh, just very Oh, uh, just about. Yeah, that was close. Hugo yeah. with a massive fail that he had P1 in his pocket, but then he threw it away with that bubble jump. Or yeah, rather, again, even, even before that, already getting the bad landing. So uh, Again, yeah. it's not the first time he threw it away. Exactly. But yeah, this map is very difficult. One of the more difficult ones, especially if you go for the double shortcut strat. So uh, not surprising to see these mistakes. But uh, yeah, of course, everyone's still very close to each other. As you can see here in the scoreboard on the left side, Ryza with 19, Piranha 18. And then a tie for third with Hugo and Gwen both sitting at 16 points. So everything is still open for the players. The point limit is 110 with finalist mode. So we are definitely still going to see a couple of very clutch rounds. Going into the final one here on good luck as fuck in this uh, map pack here with Piranha. Struggling to jump out of the dirt properly. Hugo gets it very well and also Rizo. Most likely going to have enough speed here to pass the jump. Hugo goes for the safe route. Let's see if that's going to be punished here. Gwen clips the barrier there at, at the landing. And uh, we'll have to uh, probably let Hugo pass. Who also passes Ryzo now as we speak. Hugo with a very wide exit at that drift. But manages to stabilize. Coming down to the ending now. Hugo jumping too far right. And it's Ryzo that takes the 10 point here. Hugo once again struggling with that ending. Once again loses a position here. He was on first once again and then threw it away by jumping too far right. Gwen on third and then there's Piranha who manages to finish here on last place with a 107.588. So once again the rounds very clustered but uh, I'm pretty sure we will see more uh, close rounds on the next maps. Yeah, also just to mention that Piranha failing that cut in the first place, you have to respawn and don't have enough speed to do it again. So you lose even more time by uh, not making the cut the first time. So, uh, but here we go into this uh, map number two here. Entre Guillemin? I don't know. <laughs> <I'm something laughs> I don't, like uh, I'm not so good at French, but uh, that's the best uh, that we'll do on the English stream. <laughs> and uh, I expect these players to be uh, very trained for that, uh, that pipe in the middle of the map. Yeah, this map has a little bit of everything. We can uh, take a look here at Piranha's warm-up. So it starts with a little bit of a, uh, yeah, just normal road section pretty much, where precision really gets rewarded. We want to get the tight lines around the corners. And uh, kind of the highlight of the map is coming up right here after the CP. You're going to see it right here with Hugo and Piranha approaching it right now. It is an elevator checkpoint. You actually move up uh, after a respawn, which is a pretty cool thing. And it does work consistently when you know how. But then the hardest part of the map, of course, being the pipe, which Piranha does really, really well here in the warm-up. So that is something where we might see the one or other position change since pipes are really difficult to drive on, especially if you're trying to go fast. And with the pressure thing being kept in mind, that is, of course, a completely different thing. Once again, it adds so much more difficulty knowing that oh, there's actually some, some pressure being uh, applied to the players. And Piranha now with another extra shortcut that I haven't seen done by a lot of players. Most I players. haven't seen it before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is kind of new, I would say. Or a uh, shortcut that hasn't really been shared among the players a lot. So, a shortcut by Piranha that he is uh, slapping onto the table here in the quarterfinals. So, maybe a little bit of mind games here. He maybe knew about yeah. the shortcut all along, but he just hid it from his uh, opponents. Which, I mean, could work out. Let's take a look here. Ryza with 29, Hugo 22, Piranha 21, and Gwen with 20. Here we go into the first round, Radiance. Yeah, also just to uh, mention that with the uh, short cut that he did there, the gear is really uh, a big oof, unless you do a small wiggle there to get the upper gear. So he actually skips having to think about his gear at all, actually, by uh -huh. doing that small cut. But uh, here we go into this first round on this map here. Uh, very important that you don't clip, because else you uh, will screw up big time. Everybody seems to have done, have done it pretty good. Ryzo and Gwen actually pretty much equal. Gwen going Oof. super risky into that uh, pipe right there, but getting a good Ryzo Aye. falls off, and that's going to be 10 seconds Ooh, off. Hugo as well. Hugo as well. Piranha just about makes it, and he will be able to take second place by just safing from now. Gwen already three seconds ahead by risking that pole right there, and you can just see how mu much uh, reward there is in risking on that small pole. 
So uh, Gwen pretty much takes first. Let's see how much this cut actually saves because he was three seconds behind Gwen uh, before doing the cut. And of course, he messed it up, so 3.5 seconds, so he did lose a little bit. It's but, uh, probably around about the same, I would say. It is probably the same, have yeah. a little bit of struggle entering the finish block, so it's probably roughly the same. Um, yeah. But yeah, if he, feel com if, if he feels comfortable with it, then he can definitely go for it. That is uh, personal yeah. preference at this point, I would say. But Gwen yeah. with a really nice time here. Take yeah. a look at this, 105.19 by Gwen. His opponents have been smoking his dust right here. Piranha on second, Hugo on third, and Ryze on fourth. Both of them who fell off the pipe and had to redo it. Going into round number two now with Ryzo taking over the lead here. 32 points for him. Gwen with 30, Piranha 27, and Hugo with 26. So only six points between oh, the players. Ryzo? And now Ryzo and Piranha both struggling with the little uh, slalom around the block mix. Sculptures that stick through the ground. So... Uh, a little bit of time loss here for Piranha, but I think he could maybe catch it up if he gets a very nice pipe section. Ryzo, on the other hand, is already too far back. Hugo with a very comfortable lead, already 0.8 behind going into the elevator now. Gwen on second place, loses another tenth here with a slightly slower respawn. And now let's take a look at the pipe. Both of them are making it. Hugo struggling a little bit. He needs to back up. Oh, Hugo! Oh, dear lord! He almost fell off there and Gwen will be able to capitalize on that. So a little position change here for P1. Piranha still on third, Ryzo still on fourth, so uh, in the back nothing has changed. Let's take a look at the ending now. Gwen and Hugo both going for the ramp skip. Not too difficult to get that right now. The dirt hand, uh, the dirt right hander, where as you said, Radiance, the gear management is pretty important. Hugo now uh, dropping into the water a little bit earlier. Gwen struggling! Gwen loses his grip completely! He wasn't able to get himself into the bug slide position. He wasn't able to get the 90 degree rotation at the landing. And with that, he gets sent from first to third within a blink of an eye. Piranha, the German, will capitalize and gets two extra points that he probably didn't expect to get looking at the time deficit that he was in in that round and Ryzo remains on last. So now we have a completely different looking scoreboard with Hugo now going up uh, going up into the lead. Wow. Yeah, three points separating all of the four players actually. So it is neck and neck uh, between all four. Anyone is able to take it. Ryzo once again with a no slide there and he will do the exact same mistake that he did last time. So he really just needs to maybe drive a little more safe in the start here. Ooh, Hugo. Uh, Hugo with a big touch there gets sent to the other side uh, and even will fell. drop down. So uh, maybe he should have respawned a little bit faster as uh, it wouldn't have been that big of a time loss, but he loses so much. Uh, Piranha and Gwen now is in the battle for the first place. You see Whoa. Piranha saving it and <laughs> Gwen is just going full Damn. speed onto the pole there. So uh, Gwen is just banging on on that pole, getting it three out of three times, super risky. If you run on the small slowdown, so Gwen will go even further ahead. Let's see what this uh, ending has in store for us now on uh, on this round. So Piranha once again going for that risky line, or I don't know risky, but it is a different trajectory. Gwen comes up just before him and uh, Piranha doesn't have enough speed to take over Je uh, Gwen. So Gwen takes on first place, Piranha in second, Raizo uh, will finish ahead of Hugo because Hugo is yai, super yai, 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 yai. He's still third, wow. He's, yeah, Hugo is just about reaching the point where Piranha is turning around, so 24 seconds behind. He will have enough time to finish if he doesn't uh, mess this up big time and uh, it doesn't seem like he will. Okay, I was uh, worried for a second, but he makes it and uh, takes on three points. Very, very big gaps between the players, but yeah, the main reason for that is, of course, the pipe. And actually, a surprisingly big amount of mistakes in the beginning that are made. And now, funnily enough, we have a three-man tie for second <laughs> place right now. Raizo, Hugo, and Piranha all sitting at 39 points, and then there's Gwen, who's five points ahead right now. And now it is oh, Hugo oh. with a full stop, and he needs oh, to begin a... from the start, because there are only ring checkpoints. And as you might know, ring checkpoints are not respawnable, so you do get sent back to the last respawnable point, and that is the start block in this case. So massive, massive time loss. Eight seconds for Hugo. He is definitely gonna have to settle with last place unless the other three opponents are gonna completely struggle at the pipe. Let's take a look here. Piranha takes it easy once again, and there's Gwen who just completely balls it over that pipe and is actually able to make pretty good use out of it. Ryzo also taking it a bit easy right here. Very, very uh, wobbly over that pipe he goes, but he manages to stay on it, which is the most important part 
But let's take a look at the fight for first. It is Gwen now entering the dirt uphill. Piranha with a slightly more aggressive line. Gwen bumps. Oh, Gwen. Gwen is dead. Gwen is dead. And now it is Piranha who has a very, very safe bet here at getting the 10 points. Rizo has actually gotten up to second place. Which, uh, yeah, is quite good for him. He is definitely going to go get away here with a couple of points that he maybe didn't expect to get. So six points for Raizo. Gwen once again. It is ay, 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 Gwen who gets passed by Hugo right at the ending. Turtle? It was the dirt exit that didn't go well for him. But Gwen at least able to turtle into the finish. So that's at least going to give him three points at the end of the day. But yeah, what a round. Once again, everything is going all over, all over the place, really. Jesus Christ, what a... A turtle by Gwen though. He fully 180 that turned perfectly in turtle yep. mode. That was that was actually uh, pretty cool. Actually impressive. Not gonna lie, yeah. that is uh, something that not Super everyone impressive. would have been able to do. Uh, nope. to do. Others might have just found themselves go completely somewhere else in yeah, a turtle me. position. Yeah, like you. Yeah, like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me. Like I'm the worst turtle in existence. I think. Yeah, it seems like that. Yeah, it's or it's, it's maybe really me, bad. but. We could, we we'll could be battle it out. For we need, we two, need yeah. to battle it out. What do you want, turtle? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the next map here is going to be from heaven, which uh, in the start here you actually don't go the way that's intended. You go to the left, and then uh, do a small new slide to the left once again, and uh, that skips a small part of the map and is a little bit faster. So uh, you can uh, watch the players go at it here in the warm up, of course. And uh, they are all doing uh, the the good line shenanigans right here. Of course, this map I would say one of the more easy ones. Yeah. There's one, uh, yeah, finish jump at the end. You're gonna see it soon, where you need to accumulate enough speed in order to actually pass that jump. But other than that, this one is probably gonna enable us to see some very good racing here in this quarterfinal, where the points are, yeah, pretty much halfway through. Not quite, but almost there with Piranha at 49, Gwen at 47. Here's the finish jump, by the way. The scoreboard has greatly uh, covered that up. Good streamer, by the way. Raizo at 45 and Hugo at 43. Going into the first live round right here, everything is still open for everyone. With only six points being between the players, there is nothing lost and nothing won for any of these four contenders. All of them fighting for the spot in the offline finals in Nantes, in France next month which is gonna be super hype with a price money of 2000 euro actually being played out so that is something that should motivate and that should fuel the players going into the round now it is Gwen that takes an early lead here but also Hugo is trying to go for an attack here great speed by Hugo gets the inside line a little bit of a shorter approach here very close to that wall on the outside almost hit the wall with, with his back end but Hugo was actually able to pass Gwen neck and neck going through the loop only 15 milliseconds apart from each other Rizo on third and then there's Piranha a little bit further behind but this round is very close so far coming towards the ending now the platform oh, Hugo. Hugo with a touch Hugo dropping down all the way back to last place this is a round where he shouldn't have done that mistake Piranha with a lot of speed Piranha with a lot of speed actually and he goes up to first second place only well, three around. thousands of a second. Raizo was only able to win this round because he had the slightly shorter line into the finish jump. Other than that, Piranha definitely had the speed advantage. But what a race here. This is what I expected to see. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Raizo and Piranha now on point with each other. Once again, halfway uh, done actually. 55 out of 110 as you said. So uh, we are approximately a little before halfway. Who was that that touched on the inside uh, there? I believe Raizo did, yeah, and uh, I see people actually taking the whole booster and then not going uh, so you land smoothly on that little uh, ramp that is there. You actually need to not take the full booster, but instead stabilize yourself in order to not get a wonky landing, and that is actually faster. Uh, we see Hugo doing it really good and actually is point two ahead already. Uh, Raizo with a lot of speed catches up to Piranha once again. Hugo with a very risky line. Piranha goes a little bit wide and has to release. Uh, Gwen though is not inside being able to overtake Piranha, but Hugo, if he can save this one uh, pretty good, he will take it home. Uh, Raizo with a super inside line, actually. I haven't really seen that one being done before, but Hugo takes some 10. Raizo takes 6, Piranha with 4, and Gwen with 3. It is actually interesting to take a look at Raizo's line because he actually seemingly purposely goes for that inside line because yeah. he knows he doesn't really have to go for a lot of speed. Like, it is not necessary to have a lot of speed to get into that ring finish, and he is... Rather playing with the thought of, hey, I just want to get the tightest possible line. I want to reach the finish as early as possible. So he doesn't necessarily go for the speed, which is interesting. 
other players don't Ooh, go for that. And right now that was Gwen with a oh, huge wait, mistake. It is Gwen from Team Reflex, the youngster, definitely the youngest player in here with only 14 years of age. He is maybe even the youngest contender in this whole tournament that are still alive. But he definitely won't stack a lot of points here in this round. Hugo now up to first place, passes Piranha just in front of the looping into the fastest part of the track we go. Hugo in the lead, also Raizo now has, able, has been able to pass the German player. Very risky line, super close to the wall here. Great exit by Piranha, comes a little closer. Slightly different approaches for the drift now. Ryzen with a bit more speed, goes up to second place and now we will probably see his signature inside line and also Piranha is doing the same. Hugo will most likely stay in front but Ryzen was able to close in just a tiny little bit. 37 milliseconds at the end between first and second place. Piranha on third and Gwen after that initial mistake wasn't able to get anywhere. Only three points for Gwen and with that he is going to lose some ground. Now 10 points between the players. Ryzen with 67, Hugo 66. Piranha 63 and Gwen 57. Dude, this inside line by Raizo looks super sick and super fast. It actually catches up so much. And also, if you have too much speed, you'll actually hit the block that is placed uh, before the finish line. There's a uh, small ledge you can bump into. So, uh, going into the, uh, the start here, Raizo comes out on top. Is currently in first, about 0.1 of a second ahead of uh, Gwen. Actually gets a good nose down there, so he'll have a little more speed than the others. Hugo gets the upper gear, Piranha does not, so Hugo will overtake third place uh, instead of Piranha. But Raizo, once again, is extending his lead now. And uh, all the four players getting it pretty good. Gwen having to do a small release oi, against oi, oi. Randstein bug there. Unlucky for Gwen, as uh, Raizo is uh, slowing down in order to take that safe approach into the finish line. Once again, takes home a local six there. Very nice time by Raizo. <laughs> taking also those 10 points. Very impressive time, 52.641, by far the fastest time we have seen in this match so far. And with that, yep. Rezo is gonna go up in the lead here on the scoreboard, 77 points for the elementary player right now. So it is looking to start, it is starting to look pretty good for Rezo, I think at this point. That map surely fueled his motivation to go even further. The point limit is 110, so we are creeping in closer. But of course, it is not done yet. Hugo with 72, also still well within reach. And also Piranha and Gwen can certainly make something happen on our next track in this match. It is going to be Cell Long, which is a map of a completely different style again. This is like, the, the cool thing about this map pack is that the maps are really completely different. Every map is completely different. So there's like a completely different style of, like there's a completely different driving style that is essentially required by uh, the players to drive well on it. So this track is completely different to the previous one. And I am sure this one will also enable for some pretty, pretty interesting fights. However, this one has a huge shortcut at the end. And that shortcut might be one of the hardest ones in the map pack because yep. it does involve a jump out of the quarter pipe up here and then hit this finish. So you need the perfect jump trajectory in order to reach the finish line. There's almost no room for error. You can't go too high, you can't go too low, you can't go too far left or right. You need the perfect approach. And I am pretty sure that the players are gonna go for this every single time because the normal route is just way too slow. Like you lose five, eight seconds. five, six, seven, eight seconds even if you go for the normal route. So you pretty much are forced to go for that shortcut. Very, very difficult to get it right and the players are gonna go, uh, of course, for the lowest possible trajectory. So let's take a look here at the first round gradients. Yeah, once again, our this uh, little jump here is actually very hard to get right because you can't have too low speed, you'll get uh, bounced up by that small ledge there. You can't have too much speed because you'll go inside the uh, palm trees. Of course, if you have the super right trajectory, you'll just jump in between them, but that is super difficult. And uh, Piranha making the first big mistake on this map, jumping into uh, one of those poles right there. Uh, but uh, oh. Hugo also making a, sh a very small mistake there, just about avoids the cactus, and that puts Gwen up into first. Ryzo overtaking Hugo as well. So uh, up to the cut we come here. Gwen has a better approach than Ryzo, I'd say. <gasps> and Gwen actually Ooh. takes it. Ryzo takes uh, second. Hugo crashed. Oh, Hugo and uh, Piranha didn't make it. So I wonder if they're going gonna go for the cut here. Hugo knows yep. he can go for the uh, for the grass jump there. Piranha as well. So they will both finish. Uh, Hugo taking home the four points and Piranha only taking home three. But uh, it is a 
giant time loss if you don't get the, the cut first try. Yep. So, uh, yeah, impressive times up front, by the way, with Gwen and Raizo taking a 51-3 and a 51-8. I had the camera on Raizo, and he jumped so damn low at the ending. I really, like, it was a little butt clench moment there at that point. But he was able to stabilize and manages to extend his lead even further due to the fact that Hugo was only able to take third in the previous round. Raizo now up to 83 points going into the next oh, round, and Piranha makes contact with the palm trees. He's maybe having a little bit too many summer vibes right here. He's like, oh yeah, palm trees, cool, I take it. But that is not the way to go in this Ferris Cup, so he is going to drop down to fourth place and leaving his three opponents alone in the lead. Hugo wobbling a lot, wasn't able to stabilize in time and makes contact with that pillar. So Hugo also not with the greatest round here this time around. The second mistake by Hugo, that is not the greatest here for him. Gwen and Raizo now, the only two that oh, Hugo are remaining. Oh, Hugo jumped into the hole. Hugo the hit the, one of the cactus oh, and yeah, then yeah, went yeah. straight into the hole. But let's oh, take a look at the ending here. It is Gwen and Raizo now. Gwen with a bit low speed and he hits. He hits the last available obstacle too. in front. Raizo will take first. Piranha has to respawn. Hugo is going to go for it. Hugo. <laughs> Hugo. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Hugo lost his second place in front of the finish line. He was laying in front of there like five millimeters. And Gwen was able to snipe it right there. What a round right here. All three players above one minute. <laughs> and Raizo the only one that survived. Unbelievable. Well, pretty good time by uh, by Raizo though. And though 51 is definitely very good in rounds mode. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, I mean, I guess uh, a one minute time is enough to take first threat. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it might be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hugo not with the, with the best start. But uh, it seems like no one is going to hit the palm tree. Actually, Hugo just clipped it and lost a little bit of speed. Nothing too big already because he might catch up because of the uh, the cut again. Piranha though looks pretty stable in first place. Aye, Raizo! Oh, Raizo straight into the cactus and uh, that is going to be a yikes for me. But uh, it is a battle between Piranha and Gwen now. A small slide right there. Piranha doesn't get the cleanest approach there. And uh, Gwen has a lot more speed but gets another run time. We saw him get one on the first one so... Piranha actually catches up in speed, but Gwen with a much better line into this cut approach. Hop. Who gets the cut better? Piranha! Piranha will touch, hey. Gwen will finish. Where is Hugo and Raizo? Hugo, and Raizo. Hugo with very low speed. Raizo goes for super low uh, jump and there actually makes it. Hugo did make it as well, and that leaves Piranha for fourth place once again. Not taking home a lot of points, but ah. he will finish. Wasted opportunity for Piranha, the German player could yeah. have taken quite some good points out of the round, but then managed to not get that finish jump properly. So he'll, he'll Raizo, only 99. sit there at 75 points. Raizo indeed at 99 points. So if he takes another first place, he's going to sit at the slap in the face 109 points, which is as always the worst possible situation you want to be in as a competitor in Trekmania with a point system like this. Basically only one round short to qualifying for the finalist mode but here we go into the final round everyone has managed to survive the start this summer round no contact with the palm tree everyone is off to a good start Gwen with pretty low speed will get passed by Piranha and also Raizo uh, with a slightly different approach but survives and so far we have not seen any mistake so far in this round it will all come down to the ending now this is going to be exciting Hugo right now in the lead gets a very nice low jump or rather a no jump down the hill Gwen and Raizo battling it out for second place and Piranha is lurking in the shadows and maybe waiting for an opportunity to snipe someone at the last jump let's take a look here what's going to happen at the ending Raizo with a wonky landing right there but Hugo, Hugo with a mistake Gwen on first Raizo on second Piranha on third Everyone actually made that ending and Gwen with a banger of a time of 51.18. Raizo also only 0.3 behind oh. of that. So great, great effort. And Hugo, the only one that did not make the finish jump. He will find himself 13.4 seconds behind. Yeah, Hugo actually almost didn't make it the second time around. And then he would have actually maybe had uh, some troubles finishing. But he did make it. Raizo now 105 points. So he needs a uh, top two position to put him into the finalist state now. And uh, we will see what map we're going to go into. So we're going into Kolhanta. Kol I don't know. I don't know these map names. Kolanta, I haven't really I practiced them. But there is a about a three second cut on in the finish here where you uh, skip a loop and a uh, right turn. So you just go onto a platform and then jump into another platform and go into the finish. It is uh, one of the easier cut actually, but uh, you need to have it practiced, of course.
Yeah, of course, the players have had uh, quite some time to practice the maps. The map pack has been released multiple weeks ago, so the players have had enough times to, uh, yeah, just prepare themselves for all of the different possibilities on these tracks. And they're not going for the boost. Yeah, you, like, as I said, all of the different possibilities, everyone is going for a completely different line, and at the end of the day, they all find themselves being super close to each other. So this is kind of the cool thing about this, that you have so many different possibilities of driving these maps, so many different lines that you can also pick depending on what kind of situation you're in. Of course, when you're first, with a lead of 5 seconds plus, you don't necessarily have to go for these crazy shortcuts, when you know, hey, I can just do it normally and still keep that first place. So that is maybe the charm of this map pack what map what makes this map pack essentially interesting and uh, yeah this map being no exception we're gonna come closer to the ending right here it is as you said one of the easier shortcuts and it does save a couple seconds as you see you just need to land on the inflatable manage to keep enough speed and then you have the choice between three different finishes that you can pick depending on your uh, setup depending on your speed depending on your trajectory so uh, definitely going to have a good eye on the ending to see who's going to go to what finish. But other than that, 105 points for Ryzo, the only one over 100 points right now on the scoreboard. Gwen with 97, Hugo 10 points behind and Piranha with 79. It is looking good for both Ryzo and Gwen going into the first round radiance. Yeah, going into round number one, we see a uh, small gap there going two and two holding hands together. Just like in kindergarten over this free willing block and uh, <laughs> Piranha doesn't take that booster. I don't think that is a uh, the right trajectory as Hugo comes in with tons of speed. Raizo and Piranha as well. Aye, Ooh, aye, Raizo, aye, aye, aye. This is a big time and Hugo where as well. is Hugo? Yeah, Hugo is going for that ramp skip there, which is faster if you get it right, but it's super difficult. So uh, both Raizo and Hugo drops down and now it's a battle between Gwen and Piranha and Piranha definitely needs some points in order to catch up, so he would love a first place here. But Gwen is trying to deny him. But uh, let's see when we get to this cut here. Oh, Gwen actually almost uh, clipping that. Oh, now he right did. <laughs> Takes a banger of a mistake straight into those poles. You get have such a small gap. Piranha doesn't have hot on, so he doesn't know where Gwen is. But actually makes the cut uh, pretty decent, and he goes for that safe right finish. So uh, Piranha takes home those 10 points when with the uh, safe, very safe actually, yep, right finish six for points. <laughs> Both uh, Raizo and Hugo actually messing up the uh, cut as well. So they will have to respawn and go the very safe way. And uh, you can't do that one. There, Raizo, Raizo Hugo! <laughs> Raizo and Hugo just making mistakes every <laughs> single time, both of them. But uh, Raizo in the end, Taking on four points, putting himself at the slap in the face 109, as you said earlier. Oh, and uh, Hugo putting himself up to 90 points. <laughs> what was that? A complete choke <laughs> fiesta right there by the two players yep. at the end, the two remaining players. So everything that Raizo needs now is a finish. But then there's Gwen, who he wants to deny because Gwen is sitting there at 103 points. So if he wins this round, we're going to have a double finalist situation already. So Raizo's motivation might actually be to win this round so he can make sure that Gwen does not reach finalist mode right now. And right now it is actually looking good for Raizo. Hugo is actually going for a completely different approach right there, which does pay off for the Exalty players. He is going for a very wide line in the dirt. Actually, really, really nice job by Hugo, who keeps a lot of speed in the dirt and leaves uh, Piranha and Gwen in his dust. And then there's Raizo, only on fourth place with another additional mistake. But then again, he only needs to finish so far. If the positions stay like this, it is going to be okay for Raizo coming towards the ending now. Hugo still with a comfortable lead. Gwen now with the overtake on Piranha, trying to get two extra points for his accounts, which he desperately needs, of course. Every point counts in his situation. So let's take a look, a look here, coming towards the ending now. Gwen with a drift. Piranha goes for the low side. Hugo dead. Hugo is dead. And now this Piranha, the only one who is actually about to deny everyone. But it is all good at the end of the day. Piranha first, Raizo second, Hugo third, and Gwen last. What a turn of events. I thought every, every, everything is going to turn around here, but it wasn't too big of an impact after all. So Raizo will be the first one to become a finalist. Gwen with 106 points will need third or better. And then there's uh, Piranha with 99 and Hugo with 94. Here we go, first finalist attempt for Raizo.
Yeah, perfect scenario for Ryzu here with uh, Gwen taking last place. If he gets last place again, he's not even <laughs> finalist. So uh, that is probably not going to happen as we see Hugo with a respawn there. So uh, Gwen probably going to go into finalist mode here. Uh, I think Gwen has a... Or Ryzo has a slightly better approach than both Piranha and Gwen here because uh, Ryzo has had a little more speed, but apparently not. Uh, Piranha is in the lead. Gwen goes a bit a little bit high, but takes home more speed on that uh, downhill on the dirt there. Ryzo with a touch. Uh, small touch by Ryzo, but nothing that matters too much, as this is a very slow uh, zone off the track. And uh, he is 0.4 behind Piranha right now. He is hoping that uh, maybe some of these players will make mistakes. We saw Piranha, or we saw uh, Gwen making a huge mistake just before, so uh, we'll not do that again. And uh, we are gonna go into the cut now. Both of the, or all three players going very high, goes down, and uh, they both actually make it in the top here. So who has the better exit speed? It seems like Piranha will take home this victory and he will, Gwen in second, put himself into finalist status. Ryzo in third will deny some points to Hugo if Hugo actually finishes, because he is very far behind. He is very far behind, but we also have to uh, consider that Piranha is sitting at 109. So if he denies them again, if he gets another round like this, he's going to deny two finalists and will be finalist himself. Essentially meaning that we have a triple finalist. So things can become very spicy if Ryzo or Gwen do not make it. So the next round is going to be very, very important and the pressure is definitely on for all of the players right now. And even Hugo should not be counted out yet. So here we have Gwen and Ryzo now into their finals attempt. Ryzo with the second one, Gwen with his first one. Let's take a look here at the first couple of turns. Everyone surviving it without any mistake. Following Gwen right now, who gets the least speed out of that freewheel section, but all in all still looking good here. Piranha with his different approach did actually pay off rather well for him because he is getting overtaken here in this turn, the latest, where the speed is kind of leveling out once again. Hugo now with the ramp skip, the only one who goes for it, carries a lot of speed through the dirt, and here he is back again at it. Gwen on last place going through the dirt uphill. Very, very risky line by Gwen, but he's still not able to go for an overtake. Piranha in the lead, and he is the man to deny two finalists at the same time. Piranha has gotten up a 0.4 lead right now, and if he survives that ending, this is going to be the triple final situation. Hugo Ooh, with a touch. mistake, he's out. And now it is Gwen and Ryzo lurking in the shadows and waiting for a mistake by the German player for Team THE. Will he handle that pressure right now? We're coming towards the ending now. The jump onto the pudding. You want to get a flat landing, as flat as possible, which Piranha does not get. A little wiggle by Piranha, who is trying to attack right here. They all made mistakes, though. They're all dead? Both Gwen and Ryzo what? retired. And Hugo is just casually strolling into the finish line. Oh my god. Six points. I was desperately clicking on the players and nothing <laughs> yeah, happened. Same. I was like, what? <laughs> Piranha well, does it. And we have finalist. a triple finalist situation. Now, this is amazing. Oh, it's, it's a map skip now, though. Yep, it is a map so it skip. It goes to the next map here. And the next map, I believe, is Piramisu. Yeah. And Let's that has a uh, yep. pretty interesting, uh, oh, pretty good interesting uh, section in the ending here where you have to go on a zeppelin into a uh, small, what do you call it, a barrel roll? Yeah, sort of barrel roll, know. yeah. You're going to see it soon, in, guys. And uh, then into a very tight ending where you have a lot of speed because of some boosters. So uh, it is going to be uh, very interesting. I would say Hugo has a... Uh, I think he uh, might have this trained because the Exalted guys, I think they're pretty good at some like tech lol ish, yep. which is this style of track. So I would actually uh, think uh, Hugo might have a uh, good advantage here. But uh, 103, all the pressure is pretty much on him to deny now. I all mean, the players actually yeah, going he only inside needs, the He only needs one round, he only needs yeah. one first place. And then the doors are open for all of the four players to qualify for the land final or rather, first of all, for the semi-finals, and then, potentially, for the finals as well, where the players are going to play it out for 2,000 euro in Nantes. But then again, this is the jump that might ruin people's dreams, or that might make people's dreams at the end of the day. And then we have the finish right here, which can be a little tricky to get because you can't really hit it head-on, because for some reason that finish is a little weird, so you need to actually rotate your car a little bit in order to get a more rely reliable trigger at the finish, sort of. 
So, uh, yeah, that ending is super, super spicy, and we are gonna go into this round with three finalists. Piranha, Raizo, and Gwen, and then Hugo once again only needs one more first place, essentially, to make it or break it. Here we go. Let's take it off, Radiance. All the players with a good start all getting here, but Hugo is stumbling a little bit. Gwen. Gwen with a touch, and Gwen is definitely out of this one. Hugo is still a little behind, but it is not over for him. Uh, it is between Raizo and Piranha now. The chat is definitely with Raizo as far as I know, but Piranha with an inside line and uh, Raizo oh, having Raizo. to actually adjust, and then a landing bug for him. So uh, that is definitely very bad now as we go into the Zeppelin. First off, this jump, which uh, Piranha, Raizo, Gwen, they all get it pretty good. But here we go, onto the Zeppelin. And who will get it good? Right, or Piranha! Oh, Piranha! Hugo is now in first place, and Hugo looks to deny now. Hugo will just have to not mess this up. And Hugo takes He's over, done. so it is all finalists now. This is going to be very interesting. Oh my god, I can't believe what we're witnessing right here. Hugo capitalized on Piranha messing up the finish jump, or rather the jump before the finish, the Zeppelin jump that you mentioned before, Radiance, the kickflip that you need to land as low as possible. Quadruple finalist status. Oh my god. Hugo, Rezo, Piranha, and Gwen. Here we go. The round that everyone was kind of hoping to see. And here we go. The pressure must be super high for all the players. The beat per minute are probably 200 plus right now. We are getting into really unhealthy or unhealthy levels right now. And Raizo is off to the weakest start right now. The camera is on him going through this part where Raizo is making a mistake already. And Raizo is out. Raizo out of it, and that will leave three remaining opponents on the track. Gwen has gotten a very good lead over Piranha already, going into the ceiling hit now. Piranha not going for the ceiling hit. Gwen. Gwen did it, and he actually might have lost a little speed right there. Piranha is closing in. The German is closing in. Piranha with a lot of speed and goes for the overtake on Gwen now, jumping up the platform. Piranha is up to first place. Raizo still, as I said, is dead. Now the jump. Who's going to get it the best? It is Hugo once oh. again that gets it. Hugo gets the jump the best. And he's most likely gonna make it here, unless the finish doesn't trigger. Yeah. But Hugo, with the comeback of the century, and he will qualify as the first player for the Spheres Cup 5 semifinals in Nantes. Wow. He was in like fourth, third place. And then he just gets it really good, that kickflip, and just overtakes both Piranha and Gwen there. It definitely looked like... Uh... Like, Gwen was gonna take it after Piranha made that mistake. But then Hugo just out of nowhere shoots himself up into first place. So, it is a battle now between these three players. Who will take the spot? It is the final round of this quarterfinal. And the eyes currently, Raizo is a, a little bit behind against Aye. a very sloppy line there. So, Raizo, he might be out. Uh, Gwen got Aye, that he clips. there. Raizo clips once again, and Piranha with more speed. Then Gwen overtakes Gwen once again in the same part. Gwen actually going for a uh, no jump there, but he does mess it up and loses a little bit of speed. And that might make Oi! it or break it. And that's Piranha over. gets a good. Where is Raizo? Raizo with no speed at all. So if Piranha makes it, he is in. Bad trajectory by Piranha, but he makes it. Piranha and Hugo are through to the semifinals in Nantes. Unbelievable. Raizo and Gwen are out. Unbelievable. Actually... It couldn't have gotten any closer. This was absolutely no. phenomenal wow. Trackmania gameplay here in the first quarterfinal out of four in this competition. GG to German player Piranha for making it through, for keeping himself calm and for making the best out of the situation near the end. It is a very difficult jump and a jump that of course is very, very uh, inconsistent. Uh, yeah. because it's just like a very tiny pixel that you need to hit. So one pixel off and the jump is just going to look completely differently. So Piranha with very, very, very great performance right there. And then Raizo with a very, very unfortunate uh, ending to this match. He was leading by more than 10 points at some point in the match. And then he just lost it. The finalist mode definitely did not bode well here for Raizo, unfortunately. So he is not going to make it. And also the... Youngster Gwen for Team Reflex has not made it through and uh, yeah, better luck next time, I guess. But first of all, congratulations to Piranha and to uh, Hugo. Hugo, Hugo 220. Yeah.
Insane. Yep. GG.